After watching hundreds of hours of videos, we decided that uh, the do-it-yourself hunts are really not do-it-yourself hunts. We propose to give you the start to finish of a spring Idaho bear hunt and everything that goes into doing it. Most of your do-it-yourself hunts on TV are pretty much people walking around for 20 minutes killing something and then telling you how great they are. We're going to go into how to build bear bait from start to finish. We're going to go into building the bear barrels, the bait barrels, and we're using some new horses this year. So once we get through the first two episodes, it'll probably be uh, pretty exciting because uh, we're going to head to the hills and set up the bait and see if we can kill a bear. There's no guarantees, but uh, we are going to give it a heck of a good try. Just stick with us and uh, watch every episode and we will hope to bring you the best that we can bring you for do-it-yourself hunters. The people that want to get started in it. What we're going to work on today is bear bait. I've uh, got some water, two gallons of water boiling today and uh, we are going to add a gallon of maple syrup. And this year we're using Lumberjack. And our water's already to a boil. Uh, this mixture has to stay, uh, we have to keep it warm while, while we mix it up. a half a gallon of syrup. And once you get this all mixed together, you want to bring it to a rolling boil. And then you want to put it on summer to keep it uh, warm while you, while you mix up your, uh, what I call a poor man's granola. trying to keep our bear bait as simple and as inexpensive as we possibly can. There's one gallon of maple syrup. I'm going to add six pounds of brown sugar to the mixture. There are my there we go. I'm gonna stir that with my handy dandy stir. Make sure it gets all dissolved in that water and that syrup mixture. Now I'm gonna add peanut butter. rather tough to get in there but this gives you the smell that the bears really need and want and we'll just let it all dissolve in there and I got the chunky brand this time because that's what they had at Costco
think of, in all the years I've been doing this, I don't think I have ever had one that's been that tough to get out of the bottle. Smells like peanut butter. We'll let that come to a boil again. Some rolled oats to make our granola type stuff with. I'm going to put about three of these canteen cup scoops of the mixture, and you can see how that is in our bucket. that up till it covers all of our grain. And we'll keep doing this until we get the complete bag finished, but that's how we make what I call a poor man's granola for bear hunting. They love the smell of the, of the peanut butter and they love the syrup. We finished up our first bear bait. Now we're going to move on to the second one. We're going to break out the popcorn machine and we're going to, uh, we're going to make a popcorn bait. 
I think you'll enjoy it. And this is uh, this is the bait that I like the most. We finished up the granola. Now we're gonna move right on to the next one, and uh, it's just a different recipe. We like to use two different uh, two different baits when we're baiting bear. So just enjoy the enjoy the show. Okay, today we're gonna be making our bear bait. We're gonna start out with two and a half gallons of water. And I want it to come to kind of a boil. Uh, not a real boil, just a rolling boil on the water. And we're starting to get to that point right now. So we're going to add one gallon of syrup. This year we bought Lumberjack because it was the uh, it was on sale. So we're gonna add one gallon of Lumberjack syrup to our, our bait. Comes in two half gallon jugs. It was on sale at Costco for $5.99 per gallon. As you can see, it's starting to steam. And there is the first gallon, just about, or first half gallon. We'll save these bottles in case we have any left over uh, to put this, to put it in. This is an inexpensive bait. We're going to add this to popcorn. We'll do the popcorn mixture. I'm going to show you how to mix it up and how to uh, how to spray your your popcorn. There's our two and a half gallons of water and one gallon of lumberjack syrup. Then we're going to add six to eight cups of uh, white sugar. I can also use, I've also used molasses in the past or brown sugar, but this year I'm using white sugar. Five pounds was 97 cents at Walmart. So we're gonna stir that up. Let that come to, let that get just a little teeny bit warmer. Some people add salt. To it, but uh, in the state of Idaho, you can't. It's uh, not allowed on this uh, spring bear hunt we're going to do. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add four ounces of anise oil, or anise or anise. And it smells like licorice. I've also used root beer in the past or vanilla syrup, but this year I've decided to use the anise because it was on sale. And it works just as well as as uh, anything. And you don't need very much of it. That'll that'll give you the scent and the smell that you need. turns to kind of a milky color and it uh, it just takes like I said we're gonna we're gonna warm it up and bring it to a rolling boil and it doesn't take very long to, to do this when we put it on uh, popcorn I went down and bought a new uh, weed sprayer uh, they were 4.98 or 5.25 or something like that at Walmart uh, we're trying to keep this bait as inexpensive as we can. It has a very pungent aroma of licorice.
once this comes to a, a rolling boil, then we will uh, turn it off and let it cool down while we make our popcorn. We've been looking forward to this this uh, spring bear hunt for a full year since last year. Um, we're gonna we're gonna pack in uh, with horses, and it should be a very very good trip. It should be a really good trip. Just keep stirring it a little bit to make sure that that sugar doesn't settle to the bottom again and burn on you. Especially if you're using molasses or uh, brown sugar. Once again, we use two and a half gallons of water, a gallon of syrup. I used eight cups of uh, sugar this year. I usually go six to eight cups and eight and four ounces of anise. Um, flavoring and I used McCormick's this year because it was on sale you can buy most of this stuff online you can also use root beer they seem to really like the root beer flavor also so okay we have it a rolling boil and uh, we're gonna turn it off now. They had popcorn on sale at uh, our local Cal Ranch store for $9.99 for 12 and a half pounds. So that's what we're gonna use this year for our popcorn that we're gonna do on our bear baiting. We're just gonna take our air popper, we're gonna load it up, and we're gonna start making popcorn. We're gonna do a five, a five gallon bucket at a time, and then we will add the uh, the bait mixture to it as we go. It doesn't take that long to make a five gallon bucket of popcorn, but we're going to do about 20 of these. So. What we're going to do is we're going to dump a little bit in this bucket here. We've got our mixture of syrup, anise oil, sugar, and water. Just spray it down. Give it a good spray in with a weed sprayer or whatever you want to use. This will have a very, very licorice smell to it today. If you're using root beer, it'll be a very root beer smell. Then we're going to put it in the bag. We'll do five or six of these bags to uh, get us through the bear season. It's very light, easy to pack in. And when you put it in the bag, if it doesn't have that, that smell that you want, you can just add a little bit more of your mixture. We put three days into building our bear bait and uh, put it all together for the spring Idaho Spring Bear Hunt 2019 that we're going to do. And uh, we've got it all together. We built the, the granola, we built the popcorn, and it, it's, it's quite a bit of effort to do it. Uh, now, on the next episode, we're gonna move out to Brad's shop. We're gonna build bear bait barrels. And from start to finish, we're gonna show you two different versions that we're gonna, we're gonna build and uh, what you have to do to get it. 
And then after that, we're going to go into the high country. We're going to pack back in about, oh, eight miles, and we're going to hunt bear. And we're going to show you how to set up your bait, how to set up your bait and uh, your camp and everything that we ha you have to do to do a do-it-yourself backcountry hunt.